This is so important when you're seeking help and support from others as, as an empath, a highly sensitive person. Especially when you are in a very hurt state, vulnerable state, and you're looking for someone, someone that can actually support you in the way that you can also support others because you are so empathetic and sensitive and intuitive and you know you have you have a big heart and all of that so naturally you deserve and you want to look for those qualities in somebody who will be there for you who can be there for you but it's not only just you know pretending to be or you know fake that it's actually genuine and real so this is uh something that i need to share with you because this is a real important fact when you are discerning who can help you and who cannot, who you can trust and who, who you can open up to. The factor between people that you don't get hurt again and, you know, mistreated again by this fake helper. The fact that are you aware that they have also sought help that they have they have also been uh dealing with their their own internal issues and traumas and wounds because nobody can help the other person if they don't take care of themselves in the same way as you cannot give love and care to others if you don't give those to yourself you cannot give what you don't have and is this person actually aligned with you or not? So do you feel comfortable with this person when you are engaging with them in some way? Do you feel like your energy is matching theirs? And do you feel safe? Do you feel like, you know, their help and support is, is actually, actually helping you and not, you know, the other way around that? it would be making you feel worse because this is so important this has happened to me too many times and i've been so shocked about this and i've mentioned it before and i just wanted to remind you if you are in this situation that the problem is not you maybe you need to do some inner work uh mirror work maybe uh, and you know check if there is someone else who is better for you because I've seen, I witnessed, stumbled upon so many people who try to help others. They are either volunteers or, you know, mental health professionals or um, any kinds of psychiatric nurses, for example, or, um, you know, people, well, whoever is somehow working in this field that they should be helping others because when you are in that position you should always be aware that you have to offer a safe space for the client for the person to be open open up and to be opened up and you know to open up and be vulnerable and so if you cannot provide them with that then it's a no-no because naturally everyone has to understand that they cannot be improving and helping somebody's health and mental health and their safe feeling emotions and experiences and feelings if they keep on providing them with toxic energy so when you have already gone through enough of narcissistic abuse for example and bullying and all of that lots of abuse which is too much even a little amount is too much so we always always must be aware of these facts and victims have to make sure that they can trust the right person because they really cannot afford the wrong person who is turning out to be fake <laughs>